so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Pretty good kicks there by Nurmagomedov. Feeling out process, folks. Here we go. Edge of your seat action right out of the shoot. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. Nice level change. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. Excellent Gomedov. Look, book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Beautiful entry on the takedown by Khabib Nurmagomedov. They call it Sambo, but Khabib is a fantastic wrestler, and he showed it off right now. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, right into mount. Khabib's back in side control. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. In the half guard. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Ooh, that camera looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Nice shot, lands downstairs. That shot blocked by Nurmago Metal. That high kick will get you spinning. Great landing. Just over two minutes, round one. Double leg takedown lands. All right, late round action here on Khabib Nurmagomedov. As usual, having his way with another opponent. Just such a nuanced game on the ground. I mean, this dude is so good at using his wrestling and grappling skills to control his opponent. He is a bear on top, and I'm saying that literally. And tonight, he is showing that his strength is on another level. His opponent looks lost. Oh, nice jab there by Nurmagomedov. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. And... Oh, no. oh, lands a hip toss now. That was a slick transition. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, he's in trouble. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, 
Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Takes his back now. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. I want that takedown now. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Always busy here in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Oh, nice. Oh, good defense here to stay upright after that single leg takedown offering. All right, now they separate. His opponent's wobble oh. chair. He's hurt oh. bad. Stop, stop, he cannot stop. take another shot like that. So close. This time, I'm not getting it. Just fight back down to the ground. Start thinking about some All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns. Switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Working inside the close guard now. Big power shots landing. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Ramago Medov. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Lands with the ground and pound. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Nice. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this gameplay. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big shot lands for both guys. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to knock his head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Now yeah. some separation from his clutch position. And there's another takedown attempt. Two minutes now to go round two. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by him. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on the first pass. Oh, nice level change. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, 
DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work. and He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Khabib's in half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move them off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Arm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Oh, it's a fight here. Let's see if they get it. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. And now he's got the bat. Transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Nermago Meta. And there you go again, half guard. Nermago Meta going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions to get to. Especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand huh. that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on it. Let's start this off with a big take. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men, oh, huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot, lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, elbow to the body. No part of him is safe. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, now he's attacking an arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Nermago Medov's in half guard now. Ground and pound strike there now. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nicely done. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he's landed. Great job. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Ooh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. It's work, guys. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Making all these shots count. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Nermago Medov. 
Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Khabib's in half guard. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Getting the mount here. He should be trying to get back to his feet. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're gonna get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Fighter blocks the punch. Man, his body not looking too good right Oh, no! Right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flip him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, that's bone on bone. Nicely done with the high kick. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Swing and a miss by Nermago Medov. Good jab there by the champion. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Waiting seconds here of round number three. The fighters separate. Nice elbow. That's how you throw it. Oh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready taken down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get sub. Nermago Medov gets punished by the uppercut there. That one's going to leave a mark. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Both fighters throwing heat now. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cover. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. All right, let's see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Right into side control. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, 
he went right back to the dominant position. He needs to shove the knees, get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Nermazgo Medov's in half court. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Blocked that one. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Pretty strong jab there by Nermago Meta. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Immediately gets the underhook. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Another big takedown. Under two minutes to go. Nermanko Medovs in half guard. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh, going for the arm bar now, that might be tight. Now the guy's got arm bar, he's attacking it on it. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense, he's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, so the fighter's setting up another sub attempt here. Oh, it looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, and submission defense wins this transition. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Under a minute now to go in the... Oh, double leg takedown. Another big takedown. Oh, and he's back up again. Side leg kick now. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Marco Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else says that cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Yeah, he's in half guard here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, Kimura attack, yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds up and gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that we pulled at. In that position, he showed that and proved it. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. But yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground opponent. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, that's a nice strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nermago Medov's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nermago Medov gets the single leg takedown. Oh, he's got the Kimura back in. Oh, he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Working out of the half guard here. 
Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attack numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, right into side control, upper body. Oh, could get a finish to him. Looks like a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta be firm. He's gotta just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, right in the mount. Big grounded pound. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye. Because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size. Marco Menov gets the double leg takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, that's gotta be it. Come on. That is so deep. Oh, that is. You're winning by submission. Wow. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Nevada.
All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC title run. He gets another one here tonight, and when you get to the ground with this guy, caution, flame.